All right, guys. So let's do this. So, okay. Let's start to say I am going to be resurfacing my vanity. Um, it's actually not very old. I think I got it three years ago. It's just that I have moved a whole bunch. And so it's all messed up. That's why I have this thing over there. But I'm going to be resurfacing it. Many home projects going on. But first, we have to do this. So, uh, <laughs> so disclaimer. I used to have probably three times as much makeup than this. <laughs> um, I literally had a whole drawer unit dedicated to it like years ago when I used to do makeup. But I've kind of gotten, I think in my mind, this is like a normal amount of makeup for <laughs> one person. But I have no organization. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to tackle this disgusting beast. So let's just get right into it. Let's separate it into palettes and let's do the palettes first because I don't use like a quarter of these palettes. So I'm going to do palettes, blush, face products, lip products, and you guys will see what I have. And I could do many reviews on everything that I have in here and tell you guys what's awesome, what's worth it, and what's going in the trash and what I might sell on my Macari. I feel really weird selling um, used makeup, but a lot of people like to buy it. There's actually a website called Glambot. Um, I have sent my stuff to them many times before, but honestly, they give you probably like an eighth of what you paid for each makeup item. So they give you very little money for your used makeup. But if you don't want to go through the process of list listing it and stuff, um, I have used it before and they're legit. Just follow their guidelines, guys. Otherwise, they will not give you any money for your makeup and they'll reject your box and whatnot. But I've used them. It's an easy way to get rid of your makeup, especially if it's high end, like a lot of mine is. And yeah, so let's get into them. Okay, so these are all of my eyeshadow palettes. I used to have a ton more, and there's some that I really want to buy, but I've gotten into the habit probably within the last two years, ever since I started traveling, like as a travel nurse, I didn't buy eyeshadow palettes because when I <laughs> traveled the first time, like four of my palettes broke. And so I just got into the habit of buying like smaller little like quads and stuff because it's easier for me. And I also find too that just in my everyday life, I don't do wild makeup looks. Like I either wear bronze, um, usually some sort of like a brown gold neutral eye or a smoky eye. And every occasionally when I'm feeling wild, I'll do like a cranberry color because I feel like it suits my eyes really well. But other than that, you guys, I don't wear a lot of the wild colors. So we're probably going to declutter a lot of these. So these are super underrated. Um, these are the number seven eyeshadow palettes. I use this palette all the time. Um, it has a really nice, um, like neutral color palette. <laughs> um, I like that it's cool tone. Um, I usually do this on my lid and then I'll do these in my crease and then I'll do like either shimmery um, brow bone or like a matte brow bone um, or both. And yeah, I love this for every day. It's super simple. It takes me like literally three minutes to do my eyeshadow with this palette. Um, super pigmented as well. So I'm keeping because that's like my everyday like work. I know it looks horribly disgusting. I'm cleaning all my makeup as well. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this. The next one is also by um, number seven. I think that their makeup in general is very underrated. This is a smoky eyeshadow palette. Um, like I don't use this one as you can tell hardly at all. Um, but I do like the colors. I do like to do occasional smoky eye. These are very like classy simple colors that you can just go to every day throw them on your eye and they look pretty so i'm keeping that one so this is a kat von d palette that honestly the colors are really nice but i don't use it i think i'm gonna declutter it you guys so this is their vegan eyeshadow palette um i got this incredibly cheap um the colors are absolutely gorgeous but honestly when am i gonna wear that blue like when or that green. Like, I don't plan on going to any raves anytime soon. In fact, I don't plan on going to any blinky light parties anymore. <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Um, so I think I'm going to sell this. As you can tell, I've probably used this like twice. Um, so I fe feel like this is something I could comfortably sell and not feel like I'm selling my old makeup. You know what I mean? Because I've used it once or twice. So this is going on Mercari. So I should have a Mercari pile and then a trash pile. So this will be my Mercari pile. And whatever we're throwing in the trash 
will go on the floor right there. Okay, so next one I have this palette, which I got from The Bomb. I actually like adore this palette. The pigmentation of these Bomb eyeshadows um, is really good. I'm not too sure if they're one of the companies that actually did really poorly during this horrible time in 2020, um, but I noticed that almost everything on their website is like 50% off. Um, so you can probably get this particular palette for like $10 or something, because I think at the time I paid like 15 or 16. Um, and last time I checked, I saw this for even cheaper. Um, this is their day to night palette. It has a primer, which is black, which you can put on your eye to make any of these eyeshadows like darker. Um, which I love. You can make everything smoky. And it's honestly, as you can tell, this is a palette I do use. So I'm going to be keeping. So this next one is one that I bought. Okay. So long story short, I'm not a fan of multi-level marketing companies, MLMs at all. I hate them. Um, but one of my friends on Facebook was a part of one and I ended up buying a lot of the makeup because this was a brand that I've never heard of before and it seemed a little bit more legit. Um, and to make a long story short, their makeup sucks. <laughs> so I don't use this. I know it looks like I use it, but I actually use it for my brows because as an eyeshadow, it's extremely patchy. It doesn't work. Um, honestly, I haven't used it in a while, but when I used it, I would use it for my eyebrows because the color is perfect for my hair color. But since then, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've dyed my hair dark again. So this really won't work. So I think, honestly, we're trashing it. The palette is from Bare Minerals. Um, as you can tell, I have barely used it. So I got this from Nordstrom Rack. Every time I go to Nordstrom Rack, which hasn't been often, by the way, I did like a terrible job of my manicure. Like, what the fuck, guys? Anyway, um, yeah, anytime I go to Nordstrom Rack and, um, I always end up in the beauty section and I always end up buying a perfume or a makeup item. And to be honest, the perfumes always go over really well, <laughs> but the makeup I always buy from there, I never use. Um, these colors are just okay. They're not very pigmented. Um, I barely used it. It's just dusty because it's been in my makeup drawer, but I think this is one that's going on Mercari. I don't use it hardly at all. Okay. So... This one is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this for a while. This is actually a repurchase. Um, this is one that I actually do use all the time. It's such a good eyeshadow palette. And I'm, as you can tell, I'm very basic with my makeup. Oh, my God. So I love neutral eyeshadow. I think it makes your eyes look bigger. I think it makes you look more naturally beautiful. Um, I just love it. And so this is actually a really good palette. Um, I know that Kat Von D sold her company recently, so I don't know how many of her products will change or have changed. I bought this before the company was sold and stuff. And I have to put this disclaimer. I know that there's a lot of controversial things with Kat Von D. I'm not a fan of her as a person, to be honest. Um, but her makeup brand actually has some really, really good stuff. So if you see some stuff from controversial brands in my makeup collection, please note that I'm a fan of the makeup. I really don't give a fuck about people's personal lives and things like that. Um, I just, if I like the makeup, I'll buy it. You know, I'm not taking the time to figure out who's canceled and who's not canceled. Um, so yeah, this is a really good palette. There's some really good neutrals. Um, they're all matte. It's really easy to use. I use this for my brows. I use this, um, pretty much anytime I do eyeshadow. If you see me on camera, I probably use this either in combination with something else or just alone. So it's, I'm keeping it. And if I can find a better alternative to this one, I'll buy it. But so far I haven't found a matte palette that is quite as good as this one. So the next one that I have is actually from, I got this from Forever 21, though this brand I believe is available on many different websites. This is by Moira, and to be honest, these palettes are so good, you guys. Like, this is amazing. Um, I kept the little packaging just because this is probably one of my newer palettes. Um, I do love this, though. This is the Live in the Moment palette, which, by the way, I checked on Forever 21. This palette is, like... $15 right now. Normally it's, I think I bought it for like 20 something. Um, but these colors are so beautiful. I actually did use that blue once and it's so pretty. See, this is like to me colors that are a little bit more colorful from neutral that are wearable. And so for me, this is more practical. I do like it. I do reach for it. I really like how, um, flashback and these colors are a little bit different. Like they're a little bit more orangey. So this whole, center area is really good for this time of year I feel and yeah I really like this palette the colors are really good it's super pigmented I'm keeping it so so far 
from my palettes. All right, so for my palettes, these are the ones that I'm keeping. So we have Moira, Shade and Light, Day to Night, and then two number seven palettes. And we're trashing one and we're selling two. We're making progress. <laughs> All right, so these are my blushes and bronzers. And to be honest, I really do need to buy a new bronzer um, because the bronzer I'm using, I like it, but I just need a different one in my life. And one of my favorite bronzers is actually missing. Um, I think I broke it. I don't remember. There's a, a bronzer that I was using by number seven. That I can't find anywhere and I don't know what happened to it, but it's very, very good. Um, so let's just get into it. So Benefit Hula Classic. This has honestly been a bronzer that I've used on and off throughout the years. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too cool tone for my skin, um, but usually it works out okay. I just like it. It's nice and pigmented. Um, it's a good color for bronzing. I feel like it's really good um, for my skin tone. And yeah, so I'm keeping it because it's the only bronzer that I have right now in Contour, Power, Contour Powder. Um, but I'm looking for something better. I've tried a lot of them. I've tried the Physician's Formula one. Um, one of the issues I have is I do take my makeup with me sometimes in like my bag and my makeup often breaks. So I look for formulas and stuff that's not going to like bust in my bag. Um, or in my makeup bag, and this one has, and this is one that holds up really well. It's good for travel. I know they make it in a mini. The color is pretty decent. It's just a good basic matte contour bronzing powder. So this is keeping. And next we have one of my favorite blushes of all time, which is by Dior. Um, this is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. Okay, this color looks insane. But when you put it on your cheeks, it turns into like the most natural, beautiful glow. I love this. This is a good every day. I've been using this for like 10 years now. Like, yeah, this is one of my favorite blushes. Um, highly underrated. Uh, people tend to talk about the NARS blushes and all these other brands. This one actually is very good. So obviously keeping. Um, this is the Desert Bomb Um what is this? The Desert Bomb Bronzer Blush. So I think actually, you guys, I'm going to put this on my Mercari. Um, I might do like a bundle of makeup because honestly, this, I wanted to like it so much. It just doesn't work for me. It's the idea of putting a bronzer and a blush together in one color and it comes out really like a reddish brown on my skin and it just looks like my face is dirty. Um, and it didn't work for me in the summer and it's, <laughs> I tried it recently. Definitely doesn't work for me in the winter. Um, you can tell that I'm fairly light skin. Um, I feel like this would look really good on a deeper skin tone. Um, so for me, it's just not working, but it's still pretty new. As you can see, I barely used it. So I'm going to clean it and it's going on my Mercari. So next, this pharmacy palette. So actually, this is one I actually do actually, 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 if you're drinking, take a, um, shot every time I say actually. This is a product I actually do enjoy from pharmacy. Um, I like the um, highlight in here and I like the blush. The bronzer is the pigmentation and the way it glides over your skin is actually terrible. <sighs> I don't know because I don't reach for it as you can tell. I've had it for a while and I have things that I like better. So this is going to have to go as well. Fuck you guys. I'm getting rid of like all my makeup. I need to buy makeup that I actually love. Um, I go through this a lot because I try a lot of different things. Um, so this is one that I think I love, 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 love. I haven't reached for it in a while, but during the summer, this was my boo. This is the CoverGirl um, Sculpt Expert Cheek Palette. And what color is this? Not too sure what color this is, but it's the lighter one with the highlighters and the blush, you guys. This is highly underrated. Um, these colors are like blinding highlights that really, really, really are blendable and mesh in with your skin. Um, that blush is like amazing. It's like a NARS orgasm type color, but it's more pigmented. It gives you more of a natural glow. It has a little more of a golden sheen to it. It's beautiful. And this palette is, I think, I think I got it for like $8 or something like that. It's seriously one of my most favorite products in my makeup collection. As you can tell, it's been used a ton. Um, I love it. And it's by CoverGirl. Holy, you know, like, what? CoverGirl? Yeah. Actually, drugstore makeup in case you don't, <laughs> you're new to my channel. I love drugstore makeup. Um, I do like high-end makeup, but I love finding gems like at the drugstore at Walmart that perform just as good as stuff from Sephora or Ulta or Nordstrom or whatever. So yeah, 
So this is the Auto Balm Girl Powder Cheeks to Go. So to be honest, I did a haul from the balm. All right bought a bunch of stuff. I didn't actually film a haul, but I bought a bunch of stuff from the bomb um, about a year ago when they had a sale. And to be honest, this palette is not for me. <laughs> I thought the colors would be really good and I love blush. It's one of the things I love about putting on makeup and the colors on me just don't look good. It's They're a little bit too, I don't know, neutral, cool toned. I don't know what it is. I look way better with um, either golden sheen like warm colors or if I'm gonna do a pink it has to be a little bit of a brighter pink like the Dior um but yeah this one's gonna have to go on Mercari I think I've used that under five times um yeah not my vibe so these are brand new I just haven't gotten into them yet I love everyday minerals products um especially in the summer I wore them a lot when I lived in Austin because it's very humid there and um, my skin just didn't really do well on the everyday basis wearing heavy makeup. Um, if you live in a humid climate, I highly recommend using mineral makeup. Uh, it'll last longer on your skin. You won't break out as often. Um, it's a little bit better. It's lightweight. And yeah, especially during the summer. But I haven't dug into these yet. Um, this is a blush uh, called I'm Taken. And this is a blush called Good Morning. I think I'm going to keep them both um, just because I want to try them and they're brand new. So we're keeping. Okay, so this hourglass. I, by the way, guys, anytime I want to try something at Sephora, if it's available in a mini, I will buy the mini first and see if I like it. Um, because honestly, buying the full size makeup item to me isn't always the best thing. So this is an ambient uh, blush powder. I do like the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. Um, I didn't find that this one was very good, to be honest. It's why it's like barely used. I've had this for a while, you guys. and I don't reach for it. I don't honestly like the way it looks on my skin. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it's not like a good highlight. It doesn't add any color to my skin. Maybe it will work on somebody who's more pale than I am. Um, so it's going to Mercari. So this one is another one. This was highly disappointing. This is the Benefit Rockateur Blush. Um, I I tried this many times. And to be honest, this was on sale at Ulta. It would have one of those days where these were normally, I think, 20 something dollars, 28 or so. I think I got it for 10 I want to say. But you guys, this is not pigmented at all all on your skin like it doesn't show up at all um it does nothing it's another thing where I was like this literally does nothing it's cute but that's about it so it's gonna go on Mercari uh, okay so these pharmacy products um these are all the terracotta blush products I thought they were gonna be similar to like a MAC skin finish that's why I bought a bunch of them um, honestly, they're not, they don't show up as well. They actually break me out. Um, I guess I can show you one of this. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't actually know when that happened. Um, but yeah, it's just like a skin finish type thing, but it's like not as pigmented as like the Mac ones or a lot of, um, the ones that I'm used to using. And honestly, it broke me out. So I'm going to actually trash these. I have to be honest with you guys, if you're looking for a good like highlighter blush similar to like a MAC um, skin finish, I would highly suggest the Wet n Wild ones. They're super good. I haven't had them in a long time, but I might go back and buy some. They're super cheap. Like they're like three, four dollars and they're actually very, very good. All of Wet n Wild's makeup is really good. Um, I just don't have it on hand because I haven't bought it in a long time. So this is a pharmacy blush. It's just a very basic blush. I believe this is in Ballet Pink. No, this, yeah, yeah, Ballet Pink. And um, honestly, I rarely use it, but I think I'm going to keep it just because it's a good basic blush. It's good for travel. It's really small. Um, so keeping. So in case you were keeping up here, this is all the pile that's going on Mercari. That's a little trash pile. And this is all the pile that I'm keeping. Okay, so face products. This is probably my favorite thing of all time because I like a good foundation, a good tinted moisturizer, and I have some really good products to show you guys in here. So this is the first one. Um, it's actually going to go in the trash, even though I love it. It's just really old and I need a new one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Concealer. I love this, you guys. Maybelline 
Fit Me Concealer. I use the color 10 Fair. You guys, do not buy, do not waste your money on the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is the same, if not better. They have similar ingredients. NARS doesn't have anything in the ingredients that is better than this. Um, and this covers about the same and gives the same hydrating effect. It's just, as you can tell, it's been a while since I bought one. So I need to buy a new one. So I'm throwing in the trash, but this is one that I'm repurchasing. So this is also by Maybelline. I think from the drugstore, Maybelline has really good makeup. Number seven, CoverGirl. I think those are my favorites from the drugstore that have really, really, really good products. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener. This is an under eye concealer that I use all the time. Um, this is the only thing I basically use under my eyes unless I'm having a bad under eye day. Then I'll use like more of a traditional concealer on top of this. But this is so brightening. It's so nice. This is actually a new one. I purchased this I want to say maybe 20 times since it came out. I've been using this since like 2010, you guys. This is literally one of my favorite products in the whole world. So keeping. Um, next thing is one of the foundations I've been using for about 10 years. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So this is one that I think is a classic that is amazing. And every time I try a new foundation, sometimes I, I'll try all these different foundations and I'm, I need something that's long wearing for a night out or for pictures and nothing works like this, you guys. I use the color um, 1W2 Sand. Um, I've been using this for years. It's really good. If you need a really good full coverage foundation that wears over a long time, I would highly suggest this. This is also something too that is mask proof. I use this a lot when I was working in the COVID unit in the hospital. Um, when I would go to work, when I would wear makeup, um, I would use this because it didn't rub off on the masks. And it was sort of like a not so moisturizing. It's not a moisturizing foundation at all. It's not drying either, but it really dried down to a good finish that stood on my skin and didn't really bother my mask or the seal that I had with my um, N95 or with my respirator. And yeah, so this is really good. Um, especially if you need something that's mask proof during these horrible times. This is a really, really good foundation. It looks good in pictures. It doesn't have SPF in it, so it doesn't reflect back. And I think it's fairly affordable. I want to say it's around $40. Yeah, awesome. So love it. So this is actually one of the products that was impressive by Pharmacy. Um, this is the VFX Pro Camera, Camera Ready Primer. Um, it's basically the same formula as the Smashbox Photo Finish primer and these are both silicone primers I don't use them unless I'm going to film a YouTube video and I'm having a bad skin day um so I don't really need them both so I think I'm going to get rid of the pharmacy one because they're basically the same thing um because I have the Smashbox one and yeah so what this does is it fills your pores um makes your skin look super smooth you put it on before makeup I really like it um it's not something I wear every day because it does clog your pores anything with silicone um for me I feel like it just clogs my pores so I don't wear it all the time, but for YouTube videos, pictures, yes. All right, so these are samples they have from, I wanna say Ulta. Um, I tried them both. This Cover FX Water Cloud Primer is really good. Um, I don't think it's something I would go on my way to purchase, but if you need a hydrating primer, it's actually pretty good. This Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, it's a silicone-free blurring primer, but to be honest, when I use things that say that they're blurring with no silicone, they don't really work, and this is no exception. Um, I went through most of this sample, so I'm going to throw it away. Bye. Okay, this is the best tinted moisturizer that exists, period. This is by Givenchy. It's the Tint uh, Couture City Balm. It has SPF 25. I used to use the It Cosmetics um, CC Cream. This is way better. It's less thick. It kind of dries down to a better consistency on my skin. It's just as high coverage. It is expensive and the color range is not the greatest, but if you can find your color in this particular product, I highly recommend it. It is expensive, but it's highly worth the price. It doesn't break me out. It is just beautiful, you guys. This is the best tinted moisturizer that exists. I use this for work, as you can tell. This is like my work makeup when I wear makeup to work. Um, lately, because it's winter, um, when it was summer, I was using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and just very, very thinly applied. Um, but yeah, this is another thing that I wear. This is like my everyday go-to like gym. Like It's a really good product. 
So I'm trying this out. Um, still trying it out. I know it looks like I've had it for a while. Um, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydration Foundation. I do like it. Um, I don't like it more than the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but for this time of year where my skin is a little bit drier, I feel like it is a little bit of a better option than the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I think is good for fall and winter. Um, I do like it. I'm keeping it because it works on my skin. It's a good color. Um, I use 1.2 Fair Light. I'm like a light, as you can see. I'm light, but I'm warm toned. Um, so this is really, really good. All right, so next, this is by Pharmacy. This is a stick concealer. I think I used it once. I don't know, they're col the color range on these things is so weird. This is just, as you can see, it's a very weird product. And no, that is a product. Like once you rub off the outer layer, it looks like that. I don't think it was, honestly, like, I think it, they sold me a product that was old. <laughs> so I think I'm going to throw it away because it's not supposed to do that. All right. So I'm going to do a review on this particular foundation because this is a foundation that has saved my life. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. But this is the Jennifer Bradley 4-in-1 Camera Ready Makeup. This is so amazing, you guys. It's easy to apply. It's super high coverage. It's lightweight. It doesn't break me out. Like when I'm having a bad skin day, I automatically reach for this because it's so fast. I put it on with a brush. Um, it's highly underrated. No one talks about it, but it's such a good foundation. So I'm keeping it. Um, this is the powder that I usually use to set my makeup. It's okay. Um, it's better than the Laura Mercier powder. It's the Cody Airspun. It's just very simple, you guys. It's a translucent powder. You can't go wrong. When I'm having a light makeup day, I usually will use a mineral product. This is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder um, in the color Translucent. So light makeup day is usually give one she and this. And it gives me like a really nice glow. I don't look like I'm wearing too much makeup. Um, this is a more of a glowy powder while the Cody Airspun is more of a matte powder. And so yeah. And then I have my Smashbox setting spray. I just honestly buy whatever setting spray is on sale. I think I, there was a sale to get the primer and the setting spray together, so that's why I have it. Um, setting spray to me, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think it makes the biggest difference in my makeup as far as how long it wears, but it does a good job for making my makeup look a little bit more finished as soon as I'm done doing it. Because sometimes you can get like a very powdery look, especially with like loose powders. Um, so setting spray does help with that, but does it actually make a difference in how long my makeup lasts and stuff? No, I got, no. <laughs> so these are the things that I'm keeping and that's the stuff's already getting bigger, the pile of trash and that. I almost forgot to go through these face powders. So these are face powders by Pharmacy. Um, don't bother. They suck. Um, they're going in the trash. They both are terrible. Bad coverage, patchy, like break me out. All the things I don't want. So I went and got an actual trash bag, a trash can, so you guys can actually see me throwing it away. So, my brushes. So, I have a horror story to tell you guys about my brushes. I think I posted it to YouTube, but I just didn't like the way the video came out. So, long story short, um, the, not the last two apartments, I, actually my very first apartment when I moved out of my parents' house, I had every single MAC brush you could think of. Like, every single one. And I had a whole bunch of really nice brushes from NARS, from every brand you can think of. I think this happened, like, in 2015, 2016. Um, my apartment manager decided to let maintenance come into my apartment while I wasn't there and do a treatment to my bathroom. I had complained because there was, like, um, it looked like mold growing in my shower. I hated that apartment, by the way. That was, like, it's a whole horror story on itself um and they decided and I had just gone out like I got ready for a night out I put all my brushes out all my makeup all my perfumes everything was out all my belongings were out in my bathroom because normal people put stuff out when they get ready and when I wasn't there while my dog was alone maintenance came in in the middle of the night apparently and put poison all over my bathroom all over my brushes all over my rug all over my like beautiful shower curtain like all over everything so all my brushes were ruined it was probably honestly like a thousand dollars worth of makeup brushes that were ruined and I'll never get them at that price again because I'm no longer a makeup artist um I got all of them extremely cheap from working at Macy's and also for doing makeup so 
Um, yeah, sad story, but it's okay. Now I use these. And honestly, you guys, um, these brushes, I buy them from Amazon. Nowadays, you don't even need to buy expensive makeup brushes. I do not buy expensive makeup brushes anymore. The makeup brush game has changed. Um, these people on Amazon who are selling these, a lot of these makeup brushes, they're better than the ones you can buy from a lot of these high-end brands. So unless I find a good deal from a brand, and this honestly, this is from the mom, is not one of my favorite makeup brushes, it's not even worth it. So let's go through them because some of them are really old and I need to buy new ones, which you should buy new ones. I would say unless you, well, synthetic hair, you can wash them and keep them up and whatnot. Um, but if you're not good about washing them, like honestly, if you don't wash them like every third time you use them, you probably should get rid of them every year or two because they do harbor bacteria and that can be transferred to your face. Um, so yeah. So this is um, from Sintas. I got this off Amazon. It's just a kabuki brush. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. This one's fairly new. This is from the Bomb. This is okay. This is the most okay brush I've ever had in my life. Um, but I use it as a bronzer brush. So keeping it. Eye brushes. These are all from the same brand. This one I think is actually from Ulta. I got this for free. I don't remember when. It's okay. I use it as a blush brush. Um, I use this one a lot, so I'm keeping it. This is my bronzer brush. Um, it's just an angled synthetic brush. This one as well I'm keeping keeping I think I'm gonna keep all my brushes you guys because like honestly none of them are all that old except for this one this is from I think one of the benefit bronzers um yeah so yeah all of these um are good this is the one that comes with the Jennifer Bradley foundation that I use to apply it just a big foundation buffer brush it's the only foundation brush that I use um as far as my sponges I tend to use the equal tools one this is from equal tools it's still okay no, I need to buy a new one. So this is a beauty blender I use to put on my makeup. Usually I buy Equal Tools. Sometimes I'll buy Real Techniques. And then I just use this little thingy I got off of Amazon, the brush egg, to wash it. So this one I need to replace. So there. All my random little eye products. So I actually have a lot of my stuff. Not a lot, but a few things in my car. I think I have a Marc Jacobs eyeliner in there and a mascara and an eyeshadow, a small eyeshadow um, from L'Oreal that I just use when I'm in a brush, um, and I just throw that on my eyes. So let's go through everything, because I think we're going to do a lot of decluttering here. So this is the Kat Von D brow powder. Honestly, I use this for a while, but I just feel like it looks so unnatural, you guys. And I have, if you've seen my brows, they've been problematic my whole life. Like, they're very sparse. My natural hair color is not a dark brown. Um, I have put a picture of my natural hair color and so my brows are basically blonde and my skin is like a little bit tan So they just blend in with my skin and I feel like they look crappy But this is just a weird powder that I bought. I got it super cheap on clearance. Um, I don't actually like it It's glittery and it's meant for your brows. So I'm going to trash it because I don't think anybody would want to buy that stuff. So this is the um, Maybelline studio um, eyebrow pomade in the color ash brown I like this um, I'm gonna keep it because I do use it when I do more dramatic makeup this is what I use it works really good this pharmacy one <laughs> that I tried um, in brown sugar actually no I think this is not it I had a okay I probably already threw it away so I had a pharmacy brow pomade and it was literally orange so I just threw it away so this is the long-lasting creamy eyeshadow in brown sugar it's okay it's just like a cream eyeshadow I've used better um, it's not good it's not great I honestly don't use it enough though, um, so I'm going to throw it away because it's kind of like, no, it's not something I could resell and feel okay with. Um, this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. This is literally one of the best eyeliners ever. Anytime they have this for 100 points at Sephora, when I place a Sephora order, I get it because it's not like something where I'm like, oh, I'm going to go pay $30 for an eyeliner, but if I can get it for points, I usually do, um, so I'm keeping it because I do use it. This is an eyeliner by The Balm. Honestly, you guys, this is a Schwing eyeliner. It's really good. It's also a felted eyeliner. Um, it's just old and it's straight out. So throw it away. If I'm not repurchasing it, it's not good enough to repurchase. Um, this is an eyeliner by Maybelline. This is the uh, Master Precise Ink Metallic Eyeliner. This is actually very, very good. Um, if I want to do a look where I'm not wearing black eyeliner, I use it and I really like it. Um, it's a really pretty mauve purple color. 
and it lasts a really long time. Maybelline, like I said, has really, really good products. Um, they have a felt tip eyeliner that I also love. So yeah, keeping. All right, so this is by number seven. Um, this is also another felt tip eyeliner. Okay, so obviously I have a thing for a winged eyeliner because I have several different um, eyeliners. I typically like the felt tip ones because it's easier to apply. I can do a winged eyeliner like in 30 seconds with it. Um, this one I'm keeping as well. I do like it um, and it's still good. It's not right out. So this is one by Pharmacy. This is just a glittery eyeliner that I got for free. I don't even know. There's like black eyeliner on it. It's so gross. But anyway, I'm never going to use it. I never used it. It's literally just glitter. Um, I don't see how anyone would want to use this unless you were like 17 years old on a dance team. So I'm definitely not 17 years old. So, all right. And this is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. Uh, thick and Fast. <laughs> a Super Volume Mascara. It's very okay. It's not great, and it's also kind of like old. I bought a new mascara. I usually use the L'Oreal one. I tried something different, and I was disappointed. So these eyelashes, I've actually had them, you guys, for like three years. I've never used them. Ugh, and they're so nice. I got them in a BoxyCharm. Um, and I no longer am subscribed to BoxyCharm just because I was getting all this stuff that I wasn't using. But I hate strip lashes, you guys. And I've talked about this before. I do have... um the dual lash glue. I used to use individual lashes. If you want to wear fake lashes that look more natural, buy the individual ones and get good at putting them on one by one. It looks incredibly more natural. You can do whatever effect you want with individual lashes. Like you can put more dense lashes on the outer corner to make your eye look more winged and boxy, or you can put some more in the center and make your eyes look bigger. I just feel like with strip lashes, you're just going by whatever they made for like cookie cutter you know and everyone's eye shape is different and for me like strip lashes just don't work and I can always see the band and so that's why I haven't used them I don't like strip lashes so I'm going to sell these finally I know I kept them forever because like maybe I'll use them and these are by um Baddington lashes and it's nothing against this lash company I just personally cannot with strip lashes I tried to use them for years on and off and I always felt like I just could never get the effect I wanted with them. However, this little kit, I need to purchase a new one. Obviously, it looks disgusting. I know. But this is a kit from Amazon. These are magnetic lashes with a magnetic um, eyeliner. These are life-changing. Um, I feel like they look way more natural than strip lashes because, look, you look at them, the only place where you're getting that thick strip is where the magnet is at. And um, the other part's really thin, so they blend in really well, especially if you do an eyeliner, like a winged eyeliner. If you're not wearing eyeliner, you can't get away with this, though. And honestly, I need to buy a new, like, kit because um, the eyeliner's kind of dried out. So I'm going to go through this in a bit, but I'm probably going to get rid of the eyeliner because it's starting to get old and I need a new one. By the way, I buy this off Amazon. Super cheap. And these are some lashes that I've used a couple of times already, so I'm going to throw them away. And I usually cut them too. So <laughs> I know everything's so, I customize everything, you guys. So I usually cut them, and that's like something I'll just put on the outer corner of my eye if I just want a little bit of extra. But I've used them a couple of times, and it's actually just kind of gross to keep things you've used multiple times. Well, I do a lash glue I'm going to keep because I do intend on buying some more um, single lashes. Um, I haven't been using them as often because we're in quarantine, but usually if I do a fall, like false lashes, um, I used to get um, lash extensions put on all the time, but I realized that that was really damaging to my eyelashes. And so I started just using dual lash glue and then buying single eyelashes and just kind of doing it when I wanted a little bit more lashes. And it honestly takes me like five minutes to put them on. You can't really see um, that they're fake. And I'll show a video. Maybe I'll do a video to show you how I put on my individual lashes um, and different techniques to make them look good. Um, but yeah. So that's keeping. This is my eye primer, which I usually just use, honestly, you guys, like whatever. I used to always buy the Urban Decay one, but I found that the Ulta one is just as good. And the Wet n Wild one's really good. I'm trying to think what other ones I've used. L'Oreal has one that's really good as well. So I'm keeping it because I need eye primer when I wear eyeshadow. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, sharpener. I got this from Glossier a long time ago. And this is such a good eye sharpener. 
This one I never use, but it's a backup for travel. This is the Glossier Play um, Glitter Jelly Eyeshadow. Um, honestly, you guys, I'm never going to use this. I only think I've used this once. I keep telling myself if I go out on a night out, I'll use it. But honestly, you guys, am I really going to put glitter in my eyes? Probably not. So let's go ahead and give it to somebody else. It's brand new, by the way. Brand new. I've never used it. I know it looks gross because I had it in my makeup drawer, but it's brand new. I've never even opened it. Um, so this is the Everyday Minerals Eye um, Highlighter in Uptown Confidence. I actually love this. It has like a blue tone to it. When I'm looking really tired, I put this in the inner corner of my eyes, or I'll use this one. They're both basically the same thing. This is just an eyeshadow. It's in the color Sugar Cube, please. It's just a shimmery white color, and this one has some iridescence to it, as you can see probably in the light. Um, it, they're both really good. So, out of all the eye stuff, that's what I'm keeping. Okay, so we have some highlighters. Honestly, you guys, I think I decluttered already some of the highlighters um, in my cheek when I did the blushes, <laughs> but these are just pure highlighters. So this is um, by e.l.f., and this is actually such a good highlighter. I'm so glad I'm doing this because I can use some of these products I love that I've forgotten about. This is in the color Siren Call. e.l.f. highlighters are just fire, and they're super cheap, so keeping. And this one also as well. This is by the Nabella Noir um, collection, and this is a really pretty, like, loose highlighter. You can tell just by looking at it in the packaging. It's super good. It's in the color... Me, the Harika Glow, um, and it's just a golden highlighter. It's so pretty, and I've used it a few times. Um, I haven't used it recently, so these are the two I'm keeping. This is by Pharmacy. It's just a champagne colored highlighter. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but honestly, I have better, you guys. Like, honestly, I'd probably have learned my lesson with buying like makeup, just random stuff. Um, I really have done my research like more these days before just buying whatever um, because it's a waste of money. Uh, so yeah, this is not the greatest. I'm going to try and sell that on Mercari as well. The Mercari pile is actually pretty big. And then you got the trash pile, which is also pretty big. This is my little coupon. I'm using it later for Richard's Secret. <laughs> okay, so let's do the lip products. I'm not even going to like move lip products. This is where... I need to do the majority of decluttering. So I love lip products, as you can tell, but because of the current situation, I honestly have not been wearing a lot of lip products, um, but I can go through them and see which ones I need to declutter that are either old or that I'm not using. So this is seriously amazing. I love this. This is by Half Caked. Um, I think I got this from Dolls Kill. This is in the color Hollaback. And it's like a mauve color. It looks so good. Like such a like Kylie Jenner vibe. Um, love it. So keeping. And it's also fairly new. This is my pharmacy. It's brand new, you guys. As you can tell, I didn't even use a lot of these pharmacy products um, that I bought from my friend. And so this is from the color Red Love. It's okay. It's just a red color. Um, I'm going to try it since it's brand new and see how I like it because I can't sell the products and I probably wouldn't get much money for that one anyway if I sold it and I'm not throwing it away. So this is also from Pharmacy. I do like this. It's just a simple pinky lip gloss. Um, this is also from Half Caked. I want to get more from this like brand. These are like uh, matte lipsticks and this is the color Sweet Tooth. Seriously, an indie brand that is so good. Like these are really good. I also have from uh, Mira Ness. This is an Australian brand. Um, I also really, really like this. This is a new lip color. I actually think this was a, I knew I had another one. So this was a set and it's so nice. Like they use this a lot for my videos. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a new lip, what I'm wearing, it's usually this. It's so pretty. I got this actually from Nordstrom Rack, um, but they also have a website. Really, really good I like lip liner. Really, really good. Um, non-drying, nice, long-lasting, pretty packaging, keeping. Um, this is from Elf, the Nabella Noir um, collection, and I actually really like this. Um, this colors together is just a really nice nude as well. I don't like nudes that are too nude. Um, I like nudes that are a little bit darker because they, you know, look a little bit better on my skin tone. Um, so yeah, keeping, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so these... Guys, I've had these NARS ones for a while. 
Um, I do use them, just not as often as I'd like. I wish I could use them more. I think I'm going to keep them, though, because I do like these. I love these NARS lip, pen lip pencils, especially for, like, just a quick lip color, like, going out. Um, I tend to do my lips more often than I do my eyes these days. Like, I just throw on some nice skin stuff and then do my lips. Um, so I'm keeping them. The only one that I don't like is this one. Um, what color is this? This is the new color Sex Machine. Um, it's like a pearly pink, so... I think I'm going to put this in my Mercari pile. Okay, so this is from Everyday Minerals. This is a lip tint. I actually was looking everywhere for this. So this is a chapstick that's also tinted, and it's so nice. I use this for, like, every day, and I was looking for this everywhere because I do like it. But I'm glad I did this because, like, there it is. All right, so these are some lip liners from Pharmacy. They're basic lip liners, so I'm keeping them. Um, there's a red, there's a pink, there's a nude. So this was from the Kesha Rose collection. Um, I gave away the lipstick <laughs> and I sold the eyeshadow palette, but I like this lip gloss. Um, I don't remember. I think this is a company called Hip Dot. I think you can still get this. As you can probably tell by looking at the color inside the um, tube, this is a clear lip gloss that stains your lips pink. And the pink that stains it's really pretty. I really like it, so I'm keeping it. This is another one from a half caked. I, again, I love these friggin' matte lipsticks. If you can find them, like look them up. You guys get them. They're so, so good. This one is from Lonnie. And this is a Slay All Day Longwear Liquid Lipstick. Um, I don't know what color this is. Oh, there you go. Low key. This is a very nude color, um, like a nudie, rosy color. I do like it as well. This is good for every day. This is another pharmacy lip gloss. It's just a simple clear gloss. I do use it. Like, I do like this, the simple lip glosses for when I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. Um, let's see. All right, so I have some MAC, some number seven. So I do like this MAC lip gloss a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Actually, the MAC lip glosses are some of the my favorite products from MAC. Um, they're just really pretty lip glosses. I don't recall the color. This is the color Light She Luxe. Um, it's a pink color. If you notice, there's a theme in my lip colors. <laughs> I like reds. I like nudes. And then if I wear a pink, I like like the warm tone pinks um, or like a mauve. Those are the colors I feel like look best on me. So you'll see like a trend in my lip colors. Another red. Uh, this is more of a cranberry red. This is from number seven. This is the color Conquer. This is really good. Um, I'm glad I found this because I wore this a lot this time. Last year, this is a fairly new one that I bought recently, but this is a repurchase. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Um, I also have this MAC lip color, and this is the Retro MAC lip color, and it's a nude color. This is the color Back in Vogue. So for MAC, I like the lip glosses. I like their lipsticks a lot, of course. I just don't have any of the regular ones because I tend to, these days, go for a matte lipstick because they last longer. Um, and for me, my makeup lasts me a long time <laughs> makes a big difference, um, and it's important to me. So keeping this, I honestly hated. This is my pharmacy. It's a lip gloss that's tinted, but the color doesn't look good on me. And honestly, the the formula is very, very, very like weird. It's like thick, and it dries to. It, I feel like it has powder in it or something. It's really weird. I didn't like it, so throwing it away. This is another one of my favorite products in the whole world, Victoria's Secret Plumping Lip Gloss. I've been using this for over 10 years. Um, I did have lip filler at one point. I had it dissolved. Horror story behind that. Um, but this gives me the effect of having bigger lips without a needle. Love it. So this is a really good red lip color that I wear, used to wear. I don't wear it right now because of the situation. Um, because of the whole having to wear a mask, but this is a really pretty red probably my favorite red lipstick in the world And this is by buxom and the color baller Seriously, if you're a similar skin tone to me um, Or I think anybody could wear this honestly. I feel like this would look good on anybody um, This is such a good red you guys and no one talks about this particular red good red Love it baller by buxom and this is another good red. As you can tell, I like my reds. Um, so this is the um, Glossier Play um, Vinyl Lip Color. And this is in the color Baby. And it's just a really, like, 
shocking red color. I don't wear this hardly at all anymore, but I wore it a lot in the summer. Um, it's like a bright, vibrant, glossy red color. And it's cool because this is like a gloss, like a lip color that has glossiness to it that stays on your lips and doesn't fade for a long time. So love it. Another Buxom product that I love is this Buxom Scandalous a plumping lip liner in the color scandalous so this has a plumping effect as well um it's a lipstick but you put it on like a lip liner let me show you this is what it looks like um it's really nice to apply it's matte this is what the color looks like um it you apply it like a liner but it's um basically a lipstick you can apply it like a lipstick as well i use it like all over my lips um i love it it comes with like a smudger on the other side to like put it on like a lipstick i love this i think i want to buy this in more colors because it's like not as drying as any of my lipsticks like any of my matte lipsticks but it gives me that effect and it lasts just as long so loving it so I have this honestly I have not even opened this I got this as a sample I don't remember when from where I don't even know what brand this is it's just called grande lips plumping liquid lipstick and it's like a shimmery color if you noticed <laughs> I have no shimmery colors unless they're little glosses, which doesn't really count because they don't come out metallic. I don't like metallics on my lips, and it's brand new, so it's going in the Macari pile. These are little samples I got from the pharmacy brand. I haven't touched any of them. I'll literally just throw them into whatever from Macari. These are from e.l.f. Where <laughs> the final stretch, you guys. So this is Red Carpet by e.l.f. I really, 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 really love it. Um, it's more of a moisturizing lipstick. But it's just a cheapy that's easy to throw in your bag. So I'm keeping it. And this is the color Pink Minx. This is actually really pretty, you guys, from e.l.f. Look at that. Such a nice nude. Um, it's, again, another moisturizing lipstick that you can just throw in your bag and wear, like, whenever. So keeping it. And then I have some lipsticks from Pharmacy. Which I'm not in love with them, but I don't hate them. Um, I don't even know the colors because they don't put the colors on their products. But I think I'm going to get rid of all of them. If I could describe their texture, um, they're the most similar to the matte L'Oreal lips, no, matte Revlon lipsticks in the regular packaging. Like they're basic, doll like $4 lipsticks that are matte, and these are way more expensive than that. <laughs> And I wasn't impressed really by any of them, you guys. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to put them all on Mercari. So, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to clean this drawer, and it's going to turn into a whole new thing. I'm excited. Okay, let's do this. All right, y'all ready for this? Wow, like before and after. So these um, I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I honestly was using them for something else. I need to buy more. So life hack <laughs> for all your organizational needs. I think the Dollar Tree has really good stuff. They have little baskets. They have all sorts of stuff. For me, I really didn't need much because I just, honestly, I want like a basic makeup routine. I want to add a few more palettes to my life. Um, but that's really it. Like, I just want to look pretty and get ready and have everything pretty organized. And I know this is probably excessive to some people. But for me, it's very good. <laughs> it's much less than I've had in the past. Um, there isn't really much I can do about this dresser. Um, I really love it. My my dresser is not old, you guys. I know it looks like crap. But it's because, honestly, I've moved so many times and I need to resurface it. And I'll probably redo the inside of these drawers eventually. And it's not aesthetic, but... I mean, come on, let's be real. This actually looks pretty good. So I have my palettes here. Um, number seven, the bomb, the more I love in the moment, shade and lights, all my lip products in here, which I love that they're just there. And I'm not having to like, you know, like to find a lip product or lip color that I want. All of my everyday phase products in one place. And then like if I want to be extra, I got like some highlights, some blush. Um, and then over here I have some highlights that I love, my face powders. All my brushes in one place, which I actually bought a brush holder, but I'm thinking of using it for something else because in my mind, if I have my brushes out, like, okay, my perfumes are a mess. Okay, I'm going to do another video. This is a video day, guys. Okay. Um, if I have my brushes out, I feel like they're going to get full of dust, you know? And so if they're in a drawer, it's 
more sanitary. I've always kept him like away. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep him like this. This is just um, the top of a Dior shoe box. So I mean, it has to be good for something, right? And so, yeah, so this here is all of my extra eye stuff, my brow stuff, eyeliners, mascaras, primer, all of my beautiful brushes. Um, do a lash glue. <laughs> and then my lashes, I actually took them out of the package and put them in there. And then when I buy another package, I'll do the same thing and just keep the eyeliner in there so it's a little bit more compact. But yeah, you guys, all of my makeup fits in one vanity drawer. And I'm very happy that it doesn't look awful anymore. I mean, is it ideal? Probably not, but it looks better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, let me know if you want me to declutter um, more. I have to declutter my closet. There's a bunch of stuff, and I love watching these videos. So hopefully I did a good job. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below. Subscribe for more videos to come, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.